Hi there, Dr. Shelby here at Evolve Chiropractic in Woodstock to give you some tips and tricks utilizing a lacrosse ball. So we have a lot of patients that come in here having a lot of lower back pain, primarily in this area here, which is the QL muscle or the quadratus lumborum. Now this is a really hard muscle to dig into yourself or to get enough pressure that you're actually going to make a change. So utilizing a lacrosse ball is a great way to start getting into that area and releasing some of the tissue. So no more low back pain for you. So utilizing a lacrosse ball, the first thing that we want to focus on is where are we going, right? So with the QL muscle, we're looking to be above our hip bone. So you can find your hip bone and below your rib cage. Okay. So those are our two upper and lower boundaries. You don't want to be going out to your side. So I say there's a boundary there and you don't want to be rolling on your spine or any bony area that can cause a lot of pain and dis discomfort um, and can start to do some damage to the soft tissue in that area. So the spine is the last one. So I say there's this nice little box that we're going to be utilizing that lacrosse ball in here. Okay. So that's step number one. Step number two is we're going to be tucking our hips forward. So if you just lean against a wall, you're going to notice really quickly that your butt gets in the way and that you have this nice open curve in your lower back where it should be touching the wall and it is not. So in order to get our lower back to touch the wall and get more of a uh, use out of the lacrosse ball there, you're going to tuck your hips underneath you or tuck your pelvis forward. That's going to flatten your back against the wall and help those muscles pop out even more for you. So utilizing that box and tilting our hips forward, I'm going to take the lacrosse ball. I'm going to put it right in the center of that box that I drew earlier, and I'm going to lean against the wall. Now, when we're doing this, the first thing we want to do is find an area that's causing discomfort. Remember with a lacrosse ball, discomfort is okay. Pain is not. So if you're experiencing a lot of pain where you have to grit your teeth or you're starting to cry because it's so much pain, you either want to back off pressure or you want to stop completely because we don't want to do damage to the tissue. So while I'm doing this, I'm going to do my first 30 seconds of finding the area of most discomfort. So I'm going to do some squats. I can roll it side to side, just kind of finding an area that is going to right about there for me, cause a little bit of discomfort. Now, once I'm in this area, I can do a few different things. The first one is I can sit and hold. As I'm sitting and holding, I'm going to take in some big, deep decompression belly breaths. That's going to allow that muscle to pop out a little bit more and allow that lacrosse ball to work in that area a little bit better. Or you can start moving it around. Again, you can do little movements up and down as you're moving your knees, doing some mini squats. You can roll it side to side. And again, we're doing this for a minimum of two minutes, no more than five minutes in the area, ideally two to three times a day. Try this out and see what works.